In this video, I'm not going to be showing you Lamborghinis, stacks of cash, pretty pictures of the beach. You may think of these as symbols of successful trading. However, in this video, I'm going to show you something much more powerful, and that is how to lose well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and I'm Mindfully Trading. I show videos to help you to get started day trading the Forex market, as well as an insight into my journey as a Forex trader. I've been trading for about five years now. I originally started day trading the US stock markets with Warrior Trading, and since then I've transitioned to day trading Forex market, focusing primarily on trading the pound against the dollar. I do this both in my live account with Vantage and I also trade with the prop firm, the five percenters. In fact, the trade that I'm going to share with you today was taken in my prop firm account, so I'll share more about that with you in just a moment. But before we dive into the main content, I've just got some news to share with you guys. For some time now, I've been eagerly awaiting the release of my first book, Forex Trading 101, A Beginner's Guide to Trading, and I'm super excited to share with you the launch of this book. It is available from my website as an ebook, and shortly it will also be available as an ebook and a paperback via Amazon. So I will include links to that in the description below. It's brilliant if you are new to the Forex market and if you want a guide to help you to get started with everything you need to know. But as always, all of the software that I'll be using in this video will be linked in the description below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already part of the channel. And let's dive onto the screens. So guys, I've just loaded up my broker here in MetaTrader 5. This is the account that I trade with the prop from the 5%ers. percenters. I'll talk about them in just a moment, but let's go into my history here. And I'm going to just custom period this into the last few days. And this is the trade that I'm going to be talking about in this video today, this losing trade. There's going to be a lot of useful lessons in this video, especially if you trade a prop firm account. I'm going to be talking about my risk management strategy and how I managed to keep my losers small, which in my opinion is crucial for trading a prop firm. And if you're sitting there wondering what exactly is a prop firm, a prop firm is a company that allows you to trade their capital and you both take a split of any profits that are made on the account. Now you don't just get access to an account with a prop firm, most of the time you have to pass a challenge to be able to prove your skills as a trader, to show them that you know what you're doing, that you can manage that account and more importantly manage the risk to be able to generate profits to share. So I trade with the company, The Five Presenters. I've been trading with them for a few years. They have quite a few different programs available. And the one that I'm in is the Hyper Growth Program. It's pretty much in the name, it's Hyper Growth. So I'm starting with a small account of 20,000 US dollars. If I can pass the challenge, I'd be able to access a $40,000 account. And every time I hit the profit target of 10%, that account is doubled. So that's why it's called Hyper Growth. Now with Hyper Growth also comes risk and the risk on this account is a max loss of six percent it's very tight which means i have to take a very small position size so that i don't hit that max loss if i was going to risk one percent per trade i'd only have six trades that i could potentially lose to blow up that account so i just can't risk that much at the moment i'm risking a very small amount of 0.3 percent per trade which gives me up to 20 losers but as i make more money in the account and get further away from that max max loss i will be able to take more risk on the account so it sounds very complicated but you can see just how important risk is and managing risk is crucial to success long term as a trader so how exactly did i manage the risk on this trade well let's start off by opening up trading view so here i am on my charting platform on trading view i use trading view to carry out all my technical analysis to make my trade plans and um, to carry out any thought it's on trading view and metatrader 5 is simply trade execution and here i've taken it back using the handy bar replay tool i've taken it back in time to the day that i took this trade so this isn't me sharing a live trade with you i'm recapping a trade that i did take live and this trade was taken on wednesday the 24th of january now for this day, this was actually a trade taken later in the day. I took this around about three o'clock GMT. So it was quite late for me. My trading period of time runs from about half past one to about four GMT, trading the New York session. And the reason I left it so long is because I was waiting for some major news release on the US dollar. I've just loaded up Forex Factory News, the website I like to use to refer to my news. And on Wednesday, you can see that there was a lot of news coming out that day. There was a lot of flash services PMI for the pound, for different euro pairs, and also in the afternoon, for quarter to three, we had US dollar, flash manufacturing, and flash services PMI. So in the morning, the pound actually had good news and it was higher than its forecast, which meant that 
hopping back to trading view, we had this huge push up because there was strength to the pound. So the pound against the dollar was going up based on the aftermath of the news release. After this initial news release, price kind of consolidated after that momentum and it came back up and we were forming this double top here. At quarter to three, we had a good news release for the US dollar, which meant that the pound and dollar dropped a bit. So we had another drop down here. And it was after this point that I was looking for a trade. So how did I make my trading decision first of all? To do that, I'm going to add a couple of indicators onto my chart. Firstly, this is the indicator that shows me the previous daily high and the previous daily low. And to really go into detail on this, I'm going to jump to the five minute time frame. This is the time frame I did my trade execution on. And this is the current intraday data for pound dollar. As you can see, in the morning, the pound news was released and it broke the previous daily high. As per my intraday trading strategy, I'm looking for a long because we've broken the intraday high. Now we can see it consolidated and it carried on up here during the New York Open. After that initial news release back down here, it dropped down to that key level on the daily. But there's another indicator I like to use that's also in confluence with this. And that is this indicator that shows to me key institutional price levels. And you can see that we've got two lines forming together here, the previous daily high and the institutional price level, which is at 1.2750. When we had the drop down from the USD news release to this area, I thought that if we built some kind of support at this area, which it looked like it was starting to, it would be a good place to go for a long as per my trend continuation strategy. So I set an order here for a long. I set my order just at these levels and I set a larger stop using a 20 pip stop. And for my target, Initially, I was aiming for a 1.5 R target, so slightly more profit than what I was risking, and it was looking for a retest and a break of the previous highs. Now, there were some warning signs on this trade for me. Some of you may be thinking, there's a double top forming here, and that's true. This is looking like a strong double top pattern. But I was focusing more on the key levels, the uptrend, the momentum here, and the fact that this could just be a retest to this level uh, to then make another attempt higher. On the daily time frame, we are in an overall uptrend, we're swinging higher. So I set this order. Price triggered me into the order and you can see it consolidated a little bit, but let's zoom in on this recent price action. We had a little push up and we dropped down, but then we pushed up, we broke this previous little structure, we broke the key levels, we came down and we got a strong candle up here. Now that to me showed that the momentum was coming in at this point, I decided to add to my position. So I added pretty much the same entry, but I used a tighter target, a one to one, because I was more confident from that momentum that it was likely to hit that. My accuracy rate on the strategy is higher, so I can risk that as per my strategy. And again, pushing time on, we can see that I got triggered into this trade. Now, at this point, price hadn't given the explosive move up that I was expecting. In fact, it came down past my entry and it started to retest the lows of this temporary little range here. And once we got some momentum back up and we closed above these key levels, I thought to myself, it's now or never. Also, at this point, I hadn't been sitting at the chart waiting and watching this. I'd had alerts set. So I had an alert set. Um, at the lows here that got triggered when it was down. And once it was at that point, I set another alert at my entry because I wanted to know whether it was going to come back up. When that went off and I saw that it had broken above my entry and was now closed above these key levels, I decided to set my extra position stop to break even because we didn't have that explosive move up I felt like this was a bit riskier. We were coming out of the session time. My strategy relies a lot on time theory and it's at the end of the day about to move into lunchtime for New York. So I thought that all these combinations are all exit indicators for me. Um, so I reduced the risk of my account by moving my stop up to break even for one of my positions. And for the other position, I trailed a tighter stop. Um, I basically halved the stop on the position because I figured that it was either going to go up or it was going to go down at this point. And as you can see, from this point onwards, price just dropped off. And at this point, I'd kind of closed my charts for the day anyway. I was doing tea and bedtime with the boys. So I kind of missed this until I just checked my phone later on in the, in the evening and saw the alert. 
But if I carry on playing this now, you can see that price does just drop off. So I basically managed to save myself 1.5 R because I had two positions open. I closed one break even and I reduced my stop on half of one. So I basically lost half a position, whereas I was risking two full positions. Um, and I'm quite happy with the way that I managed this trade. Effectively, if you can reduce your losing trades, you're going to help the overall health of your account. And just to reiterate, a lot of this was just done in observing the way that price moves in knowing what times your strategy is based on, knowing when you expect volume to come in and come out. And also a lot of this is just experience from sitting down and watching candlesticks form, watching price action move and how it relates to the time of your strategy and how that all works together. So I hope that you've learned something from this video. I hope that you've taken away some key factors to help you to manage the risk on your own account. Remember, it's so important to prioritize managing risk over making profits. Protect your capital and then the profit will take care of itself. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.